Hi, my name is Kevin Cloutier, and today I'm going to show you how to do a simple shimmer reverb in iOS using only audio units. I'm going to be doing this inside of AUM uh, because it has a flexible busing system, um, but you can probably do it in any other um, audio unit host in iOS. Alright, so I'm going to start with a pad that I have set up in Poison 202. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send audio from channel 1 to bus A. I'm going to set channel 2 to receive from bus A. Then in the effect slot, I'm going to choose audio unit extension, FAC chorus. And then I'm going to choose a preset called Octaver. And then only change I'm going to make in here is I'm going to take the signal all the way from dry to wet. All right. And then I'm going to take all, I'm going to turn the, the send from bus A all the way up so that all you're hearing is um, the output from this channel. So you can see kind of where we're going. Obviously that's a little extreme. So I'll back that back down and I'm going to add our reverb. You can use any reverb that you want, um, but I'm going to use EOS 2 by Audio Damage. And I'm going to use a preset called Dark Synth Hole. You can use, again, whatever reverb app you want and you can hone in on the settings however you want. Um, to taste, um, but this gives us a good starting point, and I'm going to bring the send all the way back down and slowly bring it in so we can hear what it sounds like. That is how you create a shimmer reverb using only audio unit effects in iOS. It's worth mentioning that before I figured out this approach, I would use an app called Crystalline, um, which also can create some really great shimmer reverb effects. Um, but so far, it has not been um, made into an audio unit. Um, so uh, that is why I've figured out this approach. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that.